Hey there everyone, this is Benerdi playing. welcome to another tutorial. This tutorial is about Flight Simulator 2004. Today I am going to be showing you how to um, add uh, add-on uh, planes or helicopters to Flight Simulator 2004. So um, I have already downloaded a um, an add-on uh, helicopter to use for this tutorial. Um, the website I recommend for it is a website called flyaway simulation now there are loads of different sites out there they're all probably just as good um but flyawaysimulation.com is the one that i use so um when you first go to it it's https colon forward slash forward slash flyaway simulation dot com uh it will look something like this uh if you're using flight simulator 2004 like i am uh, and like this tutorial is for, then click on the downloads button at the top and then scroll down to the bit that says Microsoft Flight Simulator 2004 um, there are different types of um, things here, uh, the plane types are the civil jet or like the add-on uh, vehicles that you can use civil jet, helicopter, military propeller, vintage and there are also maybe a few that you can fly in uh, utilities or uh, misc, uh, miscellaneous. Um, the one I'm using is a helicopter. Um, but basically, you just want to um, go into uh, your place and uh, download whatever helicopter or whatever add on you like the look of. Once you've downloaded it, open up where you saved it to. And uh, it should, they're usually zip files like this one. Um, mine is called the SH3ARA. Uh, now, I recommend that before you go and do all of this, you just read the readme.txt, um, which most of them have, uh, just to make sure that you know exactly what you're doing. So, um, this is the uh, Argentinian Navy um, SH3 Seeking. Uh, by somebody called Carlos Jose Lagi Lagioya. Uh, Lagoya. Um, so basically, when you open up the zip um, archive, it'll look something like this. You have the name of the um, vehicle, and to make sure that that is definitely the vehicle and not just something that looks similar, when you open it, it should have this kind of structure. It should have a uh, Adobe Air file, an aircraft.cfg texture sound panel and model folders um so that's what the um actual aircraft itself looks like and also you will sometimes also get gorges like these which are just um the instruments that come on your dashboard so that they're not blank or anything and sometimes there are also upgrades of the default ones that flight simulator come with and then there's also documentation which is just um uh, the pic a picture um so the first thing you want to do um, in order to put your uh, add-on into uh, Flight Simulator is open up your file explorer go down to your C drive or wherever your hard drive is and then go to where you installed Flight Simulator 2 um, 2 as in uh, TO not TWO um, so the location which is uh, Microsoft Games Flight Simulator 9 uh, and it should look like this um, then you're going to want to open up your aircraft folder um and as you can see here these are all of my aircraft usually you won't have all of these because i have already downloaded and uh, added a load of add-on aircraft um but then you're going to want to select your aircraft uh whatever it's called and drag that whole folder just into um your aircraft folder it will ask you for um, administrator permission, so you just click on continue and yes. And it should be a really quick thing because the aircraft aren't too big. And then, as you can see, the SH3 underscore ARA is now in my aircraft folder. Now, in theory, you should be able to fly from there. But if you if the uh, download that you got did provide you with a gorgeous folder like this. I recommend you add those into um, your your um, flight simulator as well. 
So from uh, aircraft, you want to go into the Flight Simulator 9 folder again. So it looks like this. And head to uh, a folder called Gorges. Open that up. And then you're going to want to open up the Gorges folder provided by your add-on aircraft. And select all of them. Then you're going to want to drag all of them into your Gorges. If it asks you, if it tells you that there are already ones that are named that, unless you know that you really want to replace them, like they're upgraded um, instruments, then uh, replace the file in the destination. But if they're ones you're not very sure on, I would just recommend that for now you just skip this file. And then you can click on continue, and then click on yes. Um, if it constantly asks you for that, like it has done for me, it's constantly asking me for admin, uh, tick do this for all current items, and click continue once more, and it's done. So now I have all of my add-ons added. Sometimes also, you have a folder called effects. If so, do the same thing that you did for gorges, open up the effects folder. Also open up the effects folder for uh, Flight Simulator and just drag all of the effects into there. Once you've done that, your plane should be ready to fly. So I'm just going to test this. Now I haven't tested this plane before, uh, this helicopter before, so I have no idea if it's going to work or not. It should do, I don't see why it wouldn't. Um, so I'm just going to wait for Flight Sim to load. Okay, it's loaded. Now, when I go to select my aircraft, I'll look for where I think it might be. Sikorsky. Not that. Unspecified. Okay, so I'm going to head into um, any. Click on the drop down box. And look for where it is. Sikorsky SH3. Now, it's unfortunately said that the aircraft I'm loading is not fully compatible with this flight simulator. Um, do you want to disable unsupported features on this? Um, now, from here, I recommend that you click on yes because this is a flight simulator 2004 add-on, uh, 2002 add-on. I'm running 2004, so I recommend that you do disable those. And then you can click on OK. I'll just change the day to uh, a bit earlier. And then once it loads, I will on pause unless it doesn't work. OK, um, it seems to have loaded up. Uh, I purposely turned the sound off because it was quite loud. I forgot to turn the sound down before I started recording. Uh, so, if I just go and test it. Takes off alright. So, I think that's quite good. Um, doesn't seem to be any problems with it, to be honest. I, I think it's quite a good one. So, I'll put a link in the description for where to download this one for, um, in case you'd like to. Um, but for now, thank you for watching this tutorial on how to um, add your add-on uh, vehicle to um, Flight Simulator 2004. I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, this aircraft has actually covered quite a few of, of um, the things to go with um, add-on for uh, Flight Simulator 2004. So um, for now, thank you for watching this video. If I just pause it now. Um, please like and subscribe and if you have any comments please put them down in the comments section so see you in another video guys.